All right, so I'm still doing the low poly stuff. A few days ago, I have created low poly X, low poly tent, low poly fireplace with low poly stones. So if you want to find uh, tutorials about these objects, check my channel. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this wooden sticks so how i did that uh, with shift a you can add cylinder we have used five vertices for this object also i have used an array modifier to make if you want to make the these wooden sticks uh, around the middle point so array modifier is good for this section. All right. So I have this this object, and I want to scale it and move it to uh, to any side. So if you want to keep the pivot point, the original point there in the middle, have, uh, do everything in edit mode. All right. Uh, let's scale it first. All right. Scale it a little bit. All right. GZ. Scale it. All right. GX to move it. GZ to move it. As you can see, the pivot point still in the same position so that's we want all right uh, to uh, to make this wooden stick not so perfect let's add some cuts there and if you enable proportion editing it allows to move edges and also bases which are connected to decrease or increase strength of proportion editing the middle mouse button uh, i won't do very accurately for this video but because we want to save some time all right let's add a color all right so how i uh, made this stem in edit mode select the top face and i button on the keyboard and just change sign and new color like that and here have stamp All right also with with small sticks the same procedure i button scale it a little, a little bit Proportion editing, we don't need it. E button to scale it and a few cuts there also. Move it like that, like this, and actually you have a wooden stick. So I want to make, to copy the stick around the middle point. How to do that? Go to uh, 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 modifiers and add array modifier for this object all right counts maybe 10 all right and we don't need it related offset but we need object offset also uh, we need a uh, an object which allows to control the rotation of copies you can add actually an object but for this example arouse modifier very good for us it will be not visible in the scene but it allows to control the rotation so uh, select the wooden stick once again array modifier object and select this empty object 
Right now, if I press R button and Z button, actually I can copy these objects around the middle point. All right, that's good. And of course, I want to rotate these objects, these objects, like the uh, they are laying on each other. So how we can do it? If I try to rotate with I axis, it doesn't work. If we try to rotate with X axis, all right, much better. Yeah. Let's increase number a little bit. All right, let's do from the beginning. Rotate set. Let's add a few more sticks there. And once again, maybe R button I A X will be good for us. As you can see, the object is created. Now we can apply a ray modifier. And once again, let's rotate it on I, I axis GX to move it and GZ and R Y axis. All right, so actually I have it. There wooden sticks were in the fireplace in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you next time.